Hello there, this is Keefe, the weather dude. And Jarvie Harmison. Morning, everybody. Morning, Jarvie. Hello, Jane. Um, well, I watched the uh, pageant on TV. I wanted to listen to Brenton Ragless and Kate Collins. Ah, yes. It wasn't so much uh, Brenton and Kate as Brenton Ragless and Kate, whenever she could squeeze a word in, <laughs> she's he can talk. <laughs> Um, well, that's kind of what he's there for. Oh, sure. And I think they did uh, pretty well. They had a fairly good mix of, you know, reading their notes and the sickly, syrupy ickiness that we, <laughs> we expect. Uh, they did, uh, which I thought was interesting, they did forget the name of the Lord, which I thought <laughs> was interesting. Well, you know, the nativity float came along. Ah, uh, yes, um, with three camels. Yes, three real camels, not your paper mache type camel. <laughs> no. With three wise men on board, even though the you know, Bible doesn't mention how many there were. You know, no, that's technical right. Technical point there. Anyway, the nativity float came along and they mentioned everything except Jesus, which I thought was rather... <laughs> well, here's something else that's very, very special. In fact, it's funny to think that without this nativity scene, the Christmas pageant itself wouldn't even be here to herald the first, of course, very, very first Christmas. What's his nativity, name? A colourful and authentic reminder of the reason for the season. Led by three live camels there with three wise men. Here we go. Oh, God. It's <laughs> my camel impression. It sounded like Brenton blowing his nose. It's become obligatory. It was quite good, Brenton. Someone paid me to do that. <laughs> oh. Anyway, sorry, that was my camel. <laughs> Look how blue everything is. A very Merry accurate Christmas. representation of the baby in a manger. What's his name? Night, the very first Christmas. As I mentioned, without this float here, there would be any of the others. And it's everything but a silent night here at the moment with all the noise and spectacle of Sorry, the pageant. Sorry, I probably didn't help that, And Brenton's I? camel noises. Oh, God. How does he know it's an accurate representation? Did they work off photos? Or what? <laughs> I've never heard of camel And they're desperately like scrambling that. through their notes, through the running sheet. What was the name of that kid? You know the one in the manger? What was, the, what was his name? <laughs> And what's a manger? Our Lord Baby in a Manger. Oh, our Lord Baby in a Manger. <laughs> it's the whole reason we're having the pageant, but they don't know his name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, they, they know the name and birth date of every person riding a penny farthing or wearing a blue wig, <laughs> but they can't for the life of them think of the name of the kid in the manger. <laughs> I wonder if it's a result of the of the um, manic political correctness we've got going on at the moment. Oh, what, he might, they might upset the, yeah, the Muslim the, people or Buddhists or Hare Krishnas or whatever? Yeah, yeah you might. never know. They might, have well, been, they might have been spoken to beforehand. Maybe, but it is more fun to think that Brent and the Kate just forgot his name. <laughs> <laughs> I think they, they actually think it's where Father Christmas was born. <laughs> yeah, little kid in a red suit in a manger. <laughs> and when Father Christmas arrived, Kate Collins almost burst a foofa valve. <laughs> Brendan, everybody's excited. Father Christmas is here in Adelaide, Ooh. South Australia for oh. Christmas 2009. Oh, hello, hello. Father, hello. Father Christmas. Christmas. Yes. Yes. Look this way, Father Christmas. This way. <laughs> Over here. <laughs> oh, he's waving to just all the boys just and girls. ignored them. Ah, so excited. <laughs> he, he totally ignored them. He just didn't know who they were. Didn't know who they were. <laughs> they didn't make much of you either, Keith, on your float. You know, in the past, Georgina and whoever used to spend a bit of time on you and gush about, you know, our very own Keith. But, but Brenton and Kate skimmed over you a bit. They may not have heard of you either, actually. <laughs> well, they're only young people, you know, and they, they're doing their job. And who's the bearded guy? It says on the running sheet we're supposed to refer to him. Well, who the hell is he? Anyway, well done to everybody involved, and they're already planning the next one. It'll look a lot, lot like, the la like this year's. But in fact, I think they're just going to replay the tape. Uh, we'll see you next time.